First submission is by <laughs> Rev. This was submitted for April Fool's Day. This is uh, Sans as Minth, which is very cursed. Um, but hey, shout outs to Sans Cosplay, dude. Very cool. He's cosplaying as Minth. You guys don't know who Minth is? She is one of our channel's uh, like villains. Next submission, also by Red, is of Link from The Legend of Zelda. We've been streaming a lot of Tears of the Kingdom lately, but I want to do another Ocarina of Time marathon very soon. Maybe not next Sunday, but the Sunday after that. Either way, I really want to do more Ocarina of Time. I'm just struggling to find a day and where I can set aside 10 to 12 hours to live stream. So, uh, But awesome submission. Next submission is not actually art, but it was submitted by Benny the Great in a DM. Uh, but I figured this counted. Benny the Great sent this in a Discord DM, and it is a Milky Chan sticker that he purchased. Very old throwback. But uh, get the stuff while you can, guys, because I'm gonna be I'm gonna be redoing the store, and I'm gonna be taking down all this shit. So. All the stickers and shirts that are on our store right now in about a few weeks are all going to be gone because I'm going to try to get rid of everything and replace it with new stuff. But uh, in the meantime, hey, this is a classic throwback Milky Chan Chibi sticker. And Benny is one of the very few people that have it. So shout out to Benny. He still, he still has us after all these years. So Cool, cool, cool. Official Milky Finisher merchandise. Next submission is by Windy, Windy Atlas. This is of Milky Coon. Uh, this is a gender-swapped Milky Chan. He is pretty much the male version of Milky Chan. And while he has not uh, appeared officially in the lore, uh, maybe in the future. I have a lot of plans already that I want to do, but hey, I am always open to cool new things in the future. So awesome submission for uh, male version of Milky Chan, Milky Coon, very cool. I like it. I like the colors. I like everything about this. Next submission. Speaking of Milky Chan, here is a submission by Reb. Uh, from what I understand, this was not originally supposed to be Milky Chan, but it looked enough like her that it was submitted as fan art. It does kind of look like an older Milky Chan, you know? She does look a little bit older. Put a put a little hair clip in there, and you couldn't be you could fool me. So my head canon is that this is Milky Chan. Very cute. I like this picture a lot. Very, uh, very like artistic. I like the shades. I like the wrinkles in the skirt and the shirt. Very cool. Everything's very like bold and noticeable about this and I really like it. Next submission is by Shinpuff. And this is of both Milky Coon and Milky Chan. You get to see both of them. And uh, very cool. I love Milky Chan's bubbly personality. I like Milky Coon. He's more like reserved and uh, I don't know what the word I'm looking for, like elegant or something, you know? He's, he's not quite as um, bubbly as Milky Chan. I think that's cool. I think it's cool to have two different uh, personality types. Awesome stuff. Um, the next one is kind of not really fan art, but because you guys have been drawing so much uh, Milky Coon, I couldn't get the tie even though he canonically has a purple and black tie. Uh, I did make an official sprite because I said, hey, I've got a little bit of time to fuck around. So I made this official sprite of Milky Coon to maybe use in future projects. Because I have one for uh, Milky Chan, so I might edit it. I kind of just threw this together, but uh, what I could do was very limited. But maybe for future things, I can have something uh, official. So. I don't even know anything about him, Red, but maybe in the future we could do an interview with him. Uh, all in due time. But I wanted to show that off as well, so cool. And lastly, we have a uh, very spicy submission by Red of Mint. This is Milky Chan's um, arch rival that we were talking about in the interview. And if you want to see the actual full picture is in Discord, but this is what I can uh, legally show on Twitch. But a uh, very awesome submission, and I love Mint, and I love all the art of all the custom characters. I love Bomb Chew Girl, I love Milky Chan, Milky Coon, Mint, all these people. And I love that you guys love them too. But uh, we are not done. We have one final submission for fan art. This was submitted by Marco Tribe, and this is actually a fan art video. This was a video submission, 
And I warn you, this is a trip, so buckle up. Here we go, let's check it out. This is why you should never play Tears of the Kingdom. Watch until the end to find out. I realize there's a lot of shit in this game that's just like one big fat slobbin fetch quest. Cause like, you gotta get Zonite so you can get the Zonite materials. The Zonite materials then go to the well, which you can get for a small, tiny, one point freaking millimeter percentage of your battery pack. Oh, but your battery pack requires things to activate Zonai weapons. But then you need, also need the Zonai fusion materials, the construct fucking gems, to power it up so it doesn't go. But even if you have all the batteries, all the packs, all the Zonai, all the fucking battery charge, all the extra gems, things can still have durability and your airplane can eventually just bl blow up in the sky or your hot air balloon or your rockets or your fucking shield or fucking cars and planes and moats. It doesn't matter. So the sky is all the way 500 feet in the sky, fucking one pixel in distance. Doesn't really matter. There's still no way to get there unless you teleport to a place you've already fucking been, build a thing, freaking rig it so it's all fucking high up and you shoot on there then you call Toolin and he blows you 50 fucking times all to get to an island so you fight the same box guy you fought for the past fucking 40 hours and you just uh, smash him and you get a freaking stick in the freaking uh, toilet roll there you go that's two like and follow for more pink king dave jif jif what what is happening where are my likes where are my followers you truly disgust me Oh, vile TikTok narrator. What, what? Your voice, a grating symphony of nonsense, pollutes the airwaves of a universe that was once pure. Who the fuck are you? I am the shadow that looms, the silent judge who has witnessed the warping of reality's weave. Unfortunately for you, I will restore balance, silence your incessant chatter, and return us to a timeline where quality content and integrity are treasured. All right. Only true Milky Finisher viewers will understand any of that. Uh, but with that chat, that brings an end to tonight's uh, fan art segment. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this Sunday stream. Uh, we did not get to guess the game, and we barely got to really check out the Mario Musical Madness pack. But we still had a fun time. And I hope that you guys had fun as well. And yeah, just thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you guys want to tune in, same place, same time next week. Uh, Sunday streams, we always play some crazy stuff. So expect more Cursed Mario. We got Dreams, some probably Game Boy Garbage, Milk Caliber, AI stuff. We, we got it all. And I hope that you guys tune in next Sunday. I might stream some tomorrow, but it'll just be probably like Tears of the Kingdom or something. But if you guys want the crazy, wacky Sunday stream stuff, you know where to find me. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I'm going to let you guys go now, though, because I'm already going over my time. So thank you all. Let me get the credits ready. And I wish you all a good night. And I know that Milky Chan wishes you guys a good night as well. So.